All right, now I'm going to perform and explain a uh, Jack Burnman routine, which is called false, false identity. Um, you have a card selected, okay? And let's say this was uh, the card uh, right here. And then you put that back into the pack, okay? And then uh, you show the card is not on the top or the bottom. And we show, we're going to do something here with uh, three, two, and the ace of hearts. So what you do is you uh, you have them, uh, have the audience name one. So let's say, for example, that they name the, uh, the two. Okay. So if they name the two, this is what, in this case, happens. So I'll explain the trick. First, I'm going to perform it. So you show, you could have named any of these. You named the uh, two. So I want you to hold out your finger and we show the two. Now I want you to uh, just put your finger right on top. Okay. And then uh, you just set these down, riffle the deck, a little bit of magic. That simple. It's a really simple effect. This is to be used with other things, which I'll show when I should go into routining. Uh, the routine that I use it with is uh, like an elevator type of routine, but I'll show that in another video. So all you have to do is control the card to the top. Okay, the top co top control that I'm using in this one is just a reverse hop scissor, which is just to bring that up. Okay. Now you could even bring it second to top if you wish. So that you can show it's not on the top or, or bottom. Now you just moved it to the top. Either way, your favorite top control. Okay. Uh, I believe in the theory of Jerry Andrews. Once you put a card in the deck, if you cut or shuffle the deck, in certain instances, uh, that means that you move it. Doesn't matter if they know where it is. It means that you move the position, right? So Jerry Andrews' theory is once it goes in, you know that's it. It's in the pack. You don't shuffle or cut the deck, and that's it. Okay, so you get it to the top using your favorite method. Now you have the three, the ace, and the two, but you have someone examine them. Now when you take these back, you're going to steal the top card off, okay? Set the deck down. Now what you're going to do is uh, when you set the deck down, you want it to be like here, but I'm just putting it here so I can explain here. Um, you're going to show the three, the two, and the ace, and previously you did a trick with these, like an elevator or some type of effect. Now, you're going to uh, show them like this. What happens from the back is your thumb is going to move this across. You don't move it yet until they name one, because if they name the top one, if they name the three, then you're in position with your double there. Okay. So if they name the three, you don't do anything. So you don't start to do anything just yet. And so you say name one, ace, two, or three. If they name the three, you're already in position, right? If they name the two... When you're showing them like this, because you're telling them to name one, your thumb is just going to line up. You're going to line up by sliding this across. That's if they name the two. If they name the ace, then you slide it all the way, all the way across here, as you're pointing here, and as you're kind of just squaring up. See, so I slid it all the way across. In this case, they named the ace. I slid it across. And once I slid it across, I just pull these back, turn these over, and put them in between. I'm going to go into the Scania one-handed spread, okay? The way that works is you take the top and bottom, your pinky's going to hold here, it's going to hold the double, and then your fingers can get a lot of motion on this, okay? And you can show this from all angles here. You flip this over, and that brings the double out, so you're going to uh, divert an interlock, you can use a divert and utility move here. As you tell them to hold out their finger, okay, they can see clearly. You come back as you do this, your fingers are going to push that back, okay. Then what you do is the deck would be here, okay, and that is so that when you tell them to put their finger on top, they start to put their finger on top. You hold this um, either like this. See, so they can, so you can set it down, and then you can just, uh, or you can 
or you can hold it like this. So as you're as you're tapping here, you just dump this off, or you set it on top, however you want, because it just looks like you're just saying, okay, press down firmly. So when your hands cross, you just unload that. So it's almost immediately. So you've unloaded this here, right? You're almost immediately uh, you're ready to finish. Um, set these aside. It's used as a, a finale for like a, a Monty or an elevator type of routine. So I hope you like that. That's uh, my version of uh, Jack Berman's False Identity.